Families lost everything they had in that deadly fire, and now, one week later, they're trying to find a new normal. 41 Action News reporter Lexi Suter spoke with one couple who says, despite everything, they feel lucky. I have to have the right one. This is my air mattress, the first thing I had in my apartment. Monday marks day seven. In my table, which is a cardboard box, but hey. One week ago, Teresa Brown and boyfriend William Pavlish escaped their burning apartment building on Independence Avenue. Each day is getting a little bit better. They lost everything they owned, but they're not complaining. We are so lucky, you know, blessed that it happened so fast for us. I could be waking up at trees and bushes. I'm waking up bare walls. That's better than trees and bushes. In just seven days, they've secured a new apartment, a furniture store brought them a brand new bed, and strangers made sure they had clothes, shampoo, and other basic needs. Oh, everybody from everywhere. I work at Snyder's Grocery Store. I've been having customers come and bring me stuff. They know their lives will never be the same, and the smell of that thick black smoke still haunts them. But they're beyond grateful to have another day. Every time I think, I look around here and I'm like, oh, I used to have this, or I used to have that. And then I got to think, look, these guys lost their lives. I lost a possession. I just keep thinking positive. You have to. Think about tomorrow and forget about yesterday is all you can do. There is still no cause of that fire. Today, ATF agents pushed back the investigation because of high winds, a water leak, and one of the agents was injured on Sunday. Lexi Suter, 41 Action News.